Yeah, I think it was a, a good game for us tonight, and uh, we were able to keep the Simmons Krause Trophy here uh, in Syracuse. I you know, played for Roy Simmons Jr. and coached with him for 19 years, and got to know Roy Simmons Sr. very well in the time frame. So it's it's pretty neat with uh, Simmons on the staff, Roy three, and then uh, Ryan getting a couple goals tonight was was kind of cool. So that was that was nice. And, Coming off uh, our North Carolina game, it was good to get back out there and play against a different opponent. And I thought our guys came out excited to play. We got through a little bit of senioritis in the first quarter, the first part of the first quarter, and I think our guys came alive and, and did what we wanted to do tonight in, in all facets of the game. And it was great to be able to get some of those seniors in that haven't played this year in a game situation, and some of the younger guys have been working really hard and have run, been part of some of our scout groups and, and doing a lot of things that uh, are very important for the team. And it was nice they got to get on the field tonight in a game situation and, and show what they could do. Questions for Syracuse? Randy, I'd like to ask you, obviously this is your second game back and you're heading into a big tournament next week. Uh, where do you think you are as far as health-wise? Are you are as close as you're going to be to 100%? And uh, how do you feel going into um, how important is to sort of set ripping off these goals going into the competition next weekend? Um, yeah, I think I'm pretty healthy right now. Uh, feels good. I feel pretty good out there. And it's just getting comfortable back with my teammates and um, just gearing up for the ACC tournament now. How important is it mentally to sort of, not, not just win, but you know, to be able to score? Uh, I mean, t today getting a couple there uh, kind of built my confidence. To, uh, so hopefully, yeah, that, it helped a lot today. It was good. Jay, I know they didn't have Alex Love, but what was working so well for you guys defensively in the first half? Well, we got back to playing the way we want to play, fast, slide hard, recover quickly, team defense, you know, is our main concept, and I thought we got back to that and played a good game today. Coach, what did you think of the play from your backup faceoff unit? I know Cal and Joe uh, did decent in their opportunities at the end. Yeah, it was important for us, especially in Cal's case, to get him out there. He's uh, been doing a great job in practice, and he even went out and took a few and then sat for a couple and came back out and didn't really seem to lose a beat. So it kinda, it's not hard for guys to try to get in the rhythm and then not play for a couple and then get back out there. So he, he's been doing a great job and, and uh, got some of the other guys in and for the same reason. They've been working so hard this year and they've been great in practice helping uh, you know Ben get better and, and Cal get better. So it was good that they had a chance to get out there in, in front of the crowd too. With a few of the violations, do you think that was just lack of experience for some of those guys out there? Oh yeah, you know they're anxious. You know, this first some of them maybe the first face off they've taken all year since the scrimmages, so they're pretty anxious. That's that's pretty standard. They're going to be in a hurry to you know try to get down on the ball, and and if there's any delay in the whistle, that's going to throw them off. But yeah. Yeah, just looking ahead to um, you know it's kind of obvious, but the importance of Randy being as close to 100 percent or as he was at the start of the season, at the end of the season. Where do you see him at right now, and then how important in your eyes was it is it for him to start sort of taking over offensively? Pretty close. You know, he got out there in the in the Carolina game and hadn't had a lot of, uh, you know, practice uh, a little bit before. So, you know, he has to build up his conditioning again. And, you know, we played him a lot in the first three quarters uh, tonight just to, to help with that. And I think, uh, I think he, you know, came back, you know, Probably wished he had one or two to, to do over again, but now I think he's pretty close to getting back where he was. He's in the flow, and we're going to have, you know, we're going to have uh, the game start next Friday as far as the ACC tournament. So we've got some good time to practice and work on his conditioning and, and get back in the flow. So I think I think he's pretty close, and he should be there by ACC time. Dylan, what did you kind of see specifically in their defense that allowed at times it looked like you guys were in so much space? What what was that a call to? Yeah, you know they slide quick from the crease on uh, you know Ellie Dodges, so all we got to do is. Draw that slide and move it and move to the next guy and someone's open. Randy, it was, it was senior night for you and a bunch of other guys, I guess. What was it sort of like to have that experience? I know you've, you've been here maybe a little bit short time with other guys, but what was it like to kind of have your parents here and sort of play in this game? You know, you'll, you'll probably another game you're in the carry over your last regular season game here. Yeah, I mean, especially um, <clears throat> playing for the Krause Simmons Trophy, too, put an even bigger label on it. But yeah, it's kind of it's kind of sad in, in a way that your, uh, your last regular season game. Here in the Carrier Dome, it's a uh, it's a uh, unreal playing in this in this uh, building, and 
just tough to that it's your last uh, regular season game, you know, but it's good. You know, a lot of the players who played here only a handful scored a uh, hundred goals. Now you're one of them. Do you, do you, how's it feel? Do you see yourself as one of the elite players to ever play here? I don't know. I don't really think of it. Like, I didn't know until today that they were saying it, but um, no, I don't really think of it. You know, I'm just looking forward to the next game. Coach, what did you think of the play from uh, Warren tonight in goal, and how did you reach the decision to put uh, Evan out there as well? You know, Evan been working pretty hard, and and you know we wanted to get all the goalies out there actually, but um, you know Warren, we've been very confident in all year long, and I think you know Bobby proved his point uh, to, you know tonight and on the scoreboard and, and keeping the ball out of the back of the net, and it was just another opportunity for Warren to get some more game experience and get more comfortable in the game situation, and Evan's been you know been doing a really good job in practice, so we we had the time to get him in and. Just a little reward for what he's been doing too. Mm -hmm. It's just in general, with a lot of uh, backup players getting a lot of time tonight. Is it just a good build of confidence for you and the team going into your most important games of the season? Yes, definitely. It, it was a reward for their hard work, and uh, you know we, we thought we had the game. I mean, the, the, these, the attack came out I think with you know twelve something on the clock in the third quarter, so they're going to be healthy going into uh, the ACC, well rested, and uh, for these other guys to get some time was was really icing on the cake. The prognosis is on Henry for next weekend. Oh, I would think he'd be fine, yeah. Yeah, I saw a couple times some defenders even advancing into the attack. Was it kind of free-flowing for you guys? Did you sense a little bit more freedom given that you guys were up by so much? Yeah, a little bit, but, um, you know, no matter w what the score is, you want to stick to your game plan. So um, you don't want to do things that you wouldn't do, you know, in other situations. So, yeah, sometimes we'd have the opportunity to advance the ball. Um, that was partly because of, you know, they kind of had a soft ride. They played like a deep zone. Um, so sometimes we had the opportunity to do that, but um, we, normally we want to stick to our game plan and, you know, to get the ball to the goal scorers. Time for two more questions. Coach, is there anything about this senior class that will be graduating this year that maybe stands out from, from other classes you had that you'll remember after they leave? Uh, you know, well, I find myself uh, feeling similar every year, you know, that uh, – you had guys that have been with you four and five years, and, you know, they have a special place. And, uh, you know, you, ne you always think that you can't replace them. So it's a, it's a similar feeling from year to year. I find myself saying some of the same things at the, you know, the banquet in the fall. Uh, but, you know, we've, it's too soon really for me to think about it. I want to play a bunch more games here with these guys, and uh, we'll reminisce afterwards. Last question for Syracuse. John, you played with men, or seen many, many of Syracuse's top scorers, under goal scorers. Uh, Dylan was a little modest about you know, not even knowing he's entering the club tonight. And your experience and your tenure here, where do you see him placing among Hansu's best? Well, you know, I think his his knowledge of the game, and you know, we're not a team that uh, gives the ball to one player and has him go to the goal all the time. You know, I think we we share it really well. So for him to have that kind of success, you know, with the ball and without the ball uh, is great. You know, it's, it's great for us to see. And he has a, a really good knack at placing him, you know, reading the situation on the field, what the defense is doing, and placing him in, 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 a, in a situation where he can get those shots off and he can create too. So uh, to be able to have that balance has, has been terrific. And he hasn't been – it's not like he takes the ball and, and dodges 20 times a game, you know, to try to get his points. It's – uh, it, it's a little bit with the ball, a little bit with off the ball. I think he's uh, the high scorer right now in the country on, in man-up situations. So that just kind of proves my point that he knows where to find those seams and, and get open. And the guys know that he's a very good finisher too, so they, they look to him a little bit more than maybe some of the other guys. And, um, so it's very, very complete.